I just need a few minutes. I'm gonna make sure my lighting's right and just to share everything. So if you're joining me, I'm just sharing everything to make sure if no one is friends with me on Facebook, they can see through the company page. Okay. Okay, so I've had a lot of coffee, so let's see how much we can do here um, and if anyone's on just please let me know if you can hear me can't hear me so I'm not going through the whole thing and you guys can't hear me I'll leave this up here for questions I've got papers and papers of stuff that we're gonna go through and also Michelle's gonna be with us uh, either now or shortly and if you guys have questions and let's say that I am speaking and she can answer questions we could do that along the way and if you're joining us just say hi I'm not gonna be able to see that end of it uh, right now actually let me see if I can can I view the comments on here I don't do live that often there we go okay we have some comments that are up here so okay just bear with me I don't do live often we do it like once a year when it comes to the um, uh, free raffle, which I really hope that we get to do this year. I think it's our fourth or fifth year that we're going to be doing. So if you're still, if you're just joining us now, we're going to do the best that we can for Q&As. A lot of this is not easy and we're all home. We're all doing the best that we can, but we're here to help. And uh, Michelle is going to be here to help with any comments if I can't get to the comments. So, um, yes. I hope everyone is being safe and healthy. I have a lot of things in front of me. I have papers in front of me that we're going to go over. So let's... Hi, Dan. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Michelle. Okay, so let's let's dive in. Um, at the end of the video, you are still welcome to uh, comment, message, ask a question, and all the products that I'm going to be showing you, everything are going to be on my website. Of course, I can't really uh, be there to sell them, but um, there is Amazon links. And I'm not sure what Amazon is doing with their shipping. They're saying sometimes it may take a few days or maybe even April. I don't know at this time. So we're going to do DIYs plus all the different products I have in front of me. So let's go with general questions of excuse me, uh, general questions of if we're open and closed, etc. So for days on end, I have been in contact chatting and on the phone, and you can also do 211 on NewJersey.gov and get your general information there. As of right now, we're not allowed to be open, and that includes brick and mortar. And then the whole thing was if we are going to be open, which we don't have that answer either, um, the other one was the mobile grooming. Are you going to be doing mobile grooming? I don't know. I'm not allowed to go to other people's homes at this time. Uh, I may get a fine on the street. And if I get a fine driving, uh, I think it's like a thousand dollars or something. And I really can't risk being open at the store or mobile grooming and getting there, um, either to a client's house or getting to my store and being, in trouble and I don't want to do that so we have to keep everything safe and sorry whether that may be a week or two we're always going to be here to answer your questions if you're going to call us text us message us on Facebook as well so you are welcome to share this if other people have any questions about their dog or for grooming or for basic information um, now I do also have questions that people have texted me called me emailed me etc that we will go through as well and um, of course I told you guys that I spoke to a lot of medical professionals and they're saying the same thing just please stay home let's just get through this quick and easy so uh, yes we don't have any information I'm getting a lot of calls I'm getting a lot of 
uh, messages of if we're open and I, I can't we can't be open so let's do the best that we can so if you're joining us and uh, you have never met me before my name is Cassie I own gone grooming we have a shop and a mobile and of course we're closed I've been grooming for about 10 years and I'm here to try to help you guys out so I understand what it's like um, having uh, quarantine a little bit because my dogs are driving me nuts. I'm noticing bags go down the street and um, that's their highlight of the day or the mailman comes, the garbage man, so I feel bad for them. So they're chewing on their bones right now. Um, okay, so basics uh, of DIYs and Linda asked about the dog nail clipping and it's not really too, too easy to do nail clipping if you don't do it on a normal basis because a lot of dogs are going to pick up on your energy and as a dog groomer, we have learned to bring and just calm down. So dogs, they pick up on that and they'll react to your reaction. And I'm going to show you a couple of tips in a little bit how to do with your leash and what to do with your leash to, if you want to try it, uh, to help them stay still. So let's do the best that we can together. I'm going to try the best that I can to help you with no equipment. Of course, I do have equipment here, which we'll go through in a few and I just want to stay prepared because hey my ADD is kicking in and I'm trying to I'm really trying to follow by the list I have going on so we don't know how long this is going to be so we're going to stay home together and let's you know do the best that we can learn how to do this together um so if you're going to do anything like this at home make sure that you either talk to your vet or give us a call uh, the vets are going to be open as far as I know for like emergency purposes. If you're looking for nail trims, their answer may be no. So we are going to easily go through. I mean, you can if you want to. If you have one of these at home and your dog is going to let you, go ahead and try to buff out the best that you can. If you guys have nail clippers, this is like the smallest smallest nail clipper in my house i can't believe i grabbed it if you do have these toenail clippers these are human grade please do not use them please 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 and the reason why is um this is this is actually like an up and down type of nail clipper and you can really do some damage and you're gonna crack it it's it could crack going up their nail so if you do also have some nail file boards uh some sandpaper you can do that Right now, I actually have um, uh, to make for you guys for uh, the next video that I'm making. It's a DIY cardboard box, and the cardboard box has, like, sandpaper on it, and I glued some on there, and I put a treat inside. So, like, when the dogs go to do something, they can, you know, just try to grind their nails. And, of course, a regular old nail file. Again, a lot of people have an issue with uh, keeping their dog still, which I absolutely understand. And then the other major, major question is ear cleaning, nail trim. Well, we went over nail trim a little bit. Um, ear cleaning. Um, yeah, let's go through ear cleaning. So you can do ear wipes. You can do um, ear solution. Uh, if you have peroxide at home, you can take a little bit of peroxide, put it on a cotton ball, and clean them out. Just don't use too much peroxide. Um, I use for my five-year-old, I have Zymox, and Zymox is a really, really good brand. Uh, you just use it like, I think it's like one or two drops a day, and I can see it cleared up in two days. But that is if you have an issue, if you're just cleaning. I'm pretty sure that you can clean. It really says... Mm. It says maintaining, relieves itching due to minor irritation. So it's not really an ear cleaner, so I apologize for that. But I do have peroxide here. So if you do and are going to use some peroxide, then you want to take the cap off and you want to put a little bit in the cap, take a cotton ball and just clean that out. Don't saturate it. Don't soak it. Another thing that people are asking too is water. Hey, can I, can I take a paper towel, put some water on and do that? Number one, no. No, no water in the ear. That'll create ear infections. I know a couple of clients that had to remove uh, their ear canal of their dog because they were cleaning with water. And sometimes I've even heard of soap. And that's, you don't want to go and do that. Um, nail trimmers. You are welcome if you want to try to nail trim at home. 
again, I did put the link for my website and uh, one of the tabs that's under there is shop. And those are the things that I have collected professionally that we use. And what I would say, if you want to try it at home, uh, you would click on gongrimming.com and then shop. And then you can uh, look through and see what you would like to try. And I do have brushes and okay. All right, let's see. Um, the other, we're gonna go through some of the questions if I'm not getting it right now. So, um, Linda, that was actually the next thing that I was going to mention is the guard on nail clippers. I, as a groomer, I personally take the guard off because if you're gonna put the nail all the way in, do I have nail clippers here that have a guard? No, of course I don't, but I can grab one. Um, if you do have nail clippers that have a guard that's on there and it kind of looks, if I open this up like this and the guard kind of goes like this. And with that, a lot of people are just sticking the nail all the way in and the guard really, I don't trust the guard, honestly. Don't trust it one bit because you can, you can cut Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I'm having an ADD moment. Cornstarch, if you do decide to do your dog's nails, you can do cornstarch uh, to soak up if you have any bleeding. So if you're gonna do nails at home, and, oh, I forgot one thing, hold on a second. Let's try to get the most neon straw that I can find. All right, so, hi Leah. Okay, I have a bone for you to chew. Please don't bark at the mailman. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. So if you're going to clip your dog's nails, what you want to do is you want to do it little by little. And when I mean little by little, I mean like slivers. And if, you're, if your dog is going to sit right, there are... I have a leash right in front of me. So let's say that you decide that you want to do your dog's nails. And you're going to take this metal clasp and you're going to slip it right through this loop here so this loop is your handle and you're going to slip it through and so what it's going to do is it's going to tighten you have the choice whether you want to put that around your dog's neck or you could do a seatbelt motion and um this is going to turn into like some fun little party here so this is another way that you could and it doesn't help that i'm wearing black but this is another way that we do strap up dogs is underneath the shoulder here. So if you wanted to hold your dog in place and try this, you can actually stick this end, open up your door and close it. And then your dog, you can have a stable, whether it's gonna work for you or not, I'm putting ideas out there for DIYs during this time of quarantine. And then I also do have a rope leash, which you can do the same. So let's say that you have you have the rope leash, you could do the same. You can loop it through and you can create your own little slip knot so that it locks into place. Uh, I'm not a boater, so I don't know how to make a regular rope into um, a, 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 a tightened. So, okay, we did, oh, thank you. I love my coffee mug. Thank you, Dave. Love my husband. Thank you, babe. Um, yeah, Michelle asked a really good question for nails. When it comes to white and black nails, it is very difficult for white and black nails. Uh, I'm sorry, for black nails. For white nails, it's a little bit easier because you're only just doing a little bit of trims here and there. I'm trying to see if I have my... Did I bring cornstarch out? No, I did not. Oh, uh, and if my dogs decide to bark and you guys want to try this at home, this is an old metal or, I don't know, aluminum coffee can and only that's inside is uh three pennies and a rock so the sound whether it's uh, whatever the pitch of the sound is one or two shakes and they're they're stopped they're not barking anymore and i'm lucky that they're not barking right now i gave them some bones to keep them busy so um okay uh, sorry, I have equipment over here and I'm trying to help you guys out. So if you're just joining us now, we went over some DIY nail trims, etc. So if you 
would like more information, I'm telling everyone to go on my website and um, I will be putting this video, I'm going to try to put this video, I've got to figure that out, how to put this on my website. Uh, this is going to remain on my Facebook page and also my company page as well. And if you are still welcome to ask questions even after this video is over. Uh, combs and brushes, okay, this here is one of our combs that I use, it's metal. You don't have to use that. This, it came from my husband's um, uh, hair trimmer case. So you can use that as well as if you want. Brushes, the shedding brush. Um, Huskies, Samoids, Shepherds, you're welcome to use this. Everyone has their own little preference of what they wanna do. So if you wanna do something at home and you say, okay, I don't know what the first step is of de-shedding my dog or just doing any trim ups. Please, please, please be careful in everything that you do. So I have a couple of de-shedding brushes right in front of me. And of course, hair is going to fly everywhere because that's my job. That's my career where hair just flies in numerous places. <laughs> so I do have, these are undercoat rakes. This is a uh, dual side one's thick and one's thin and that's for husky shepherds uh long-haired labs and this is just a bigger version of it you also can use a furminator and on my website i do have links for a furminator and a cheaper version of a furminator um again i can't recommend that this is going to be a wonderful thing for you and you're going to have so much fun doing this the other um object that i use is this is the grooming rake please uh grooming loop please 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 be careful with it my my cat is really trying to come out go outside and there's a screen window <laughs> she doesn't know what to do so this one, yes, you can go against their fur like this. Again, please be careful when you use these tools if you decide to order them online because if you press too heavy, they're going to hurt. You can use... I don't think I put this on my website, but I will. Uh, this is also almost like an undercoat type of thing. Please be careful if you're going to use any of this. Uh, this is more for if you have some knots. So this here is rounded. If you can see the roundness of the teeth, that is rounded so that when you go to grab the hair, it's gonna cut through some of the knots. Please don't put your fingers in here. Please don't. De-shedding. Hi, I'm a glove. You can actually use this if you decide to bathe your dog and you could take a rubber glove and rub it against them after you have either bathed them uh, during the bath, after the bath, the blow dry, you can use a hair dryer if you want to, but it's going to take you a few hours. Uh, so if you're going to use a hair dryer, then I would recommend using uh, not the Furminator brush while you're uh, drying them, but more of a comb or a slicker or even a wide tooth comb, which is right here. And I don't think I have it on my website, but I will put this up later. This is also a wide tooth comb. This is a lot of times that when I'm blow drying, a big dog, a shepherd, a husky, a samoid, uh, I'm brushing backwards and we're just grabbing the undercoat of the hair and trying to blow it out. Um, and then, what was the next thing I was going to do? This is why you, uh, yeah, I have papers in front of me and it really, like you go into talking and it just keeps on going. Oh, the questions that I got from other people. But I do have um, a list in front of me of the shampoos that people are asking what to do. You can do baby wipes, uh, not baby wipes, I'm sorry, hy hypoallergenic wipes, whether they're baby or not. That is your choice. I would ask a vet before you even attempt to do that because I don't know if that's going to injure your dog, if your dog's, um, it really depends on, on their skin, their fur, and if they're going to let you do it at all. So you can do wipes. I do have that on my website as well. I have uh, hypoallergenic as well as the Burt's Bees. And when it comes to um, shampoo, I didn't get there yet because I had to jump on here. I do have on their recommendations, which I'm going to put. I have a list of things that I have to put on my website. Is the hypoallergenic shampoo. And I would say for now, that other question that we had was baby shampoo. Professionally, please don't. You can, but 
I really don't want to be held responsible for the person that said, yeah, sure, go ahead and try it when I can't, I can't give you an answer. But that is one of the number one questions that I'm getting is, hey, can I use baby shampoo? I would recommend doing a hypoallergenic shampoo. Just play it safe. Um, the hypoallergenic shampoo that I have at my store, I think it's, uh, Michelle, help me out. Um, I forget what we have. I think it's like Tropiclean or, um, what else do we have? The, uh, uh, the veterinary formula. Yes, we have the antiseptic, uh, the hypoallergenic, uh, the hotspot relief, the hotspot spray, which I can also put that online of things that we recommend as well. So after this video, please give me about a half hour to put some more things on Amazon, on uh, my, my website, because I was trying to get on here as soon as possible so we can go through everything. And again, if you have more people that are joining us, my name is Cassie. We're just going through a couple of DIYs. And if you have any questions, feel free. Yes, it is Earth Bath. Uh, feel free to comment down below if you have a question. When we're done with this live video, if you still have questions, feel free to comment right down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And we're just going over some DIYs that you could do at home. So if you guys have any questions about any DIYs that you have, uh, for now, I'm going to show you, well, not show you, I'm going to tell you a couple of funny questions that I have gotten in the past couple of days. And no, I won't tell you who it is. So um, nail trimmers, of course, I, I got that question of, hey, can I use the, the human nail clippers? And please don't, don't, don't use, don't, don't use that. You can split the nail and it'll cause damage. Don't do it. Can I use my husband's tools? Um, please don't husband. I mean, I, I, my husband's workbench is back there and I have been tempted to try because as a professional, you kind of want to just, no, no, never mind. Yeah. You don't want to go and try. I, I even know what tools this lady's talking about. So, um, the other thing is, uh, can I put as a protectant deodorant on the bottoms of my dog's paws? No, please don't do that either. Um, if you're looking for a paw, um, a paw wax, I can recommend a couple of paw waxes that you can put on the bottoms of your dog's feet if it decides to rain, snow, etc., or if you have cracking. Um, I did have the question about the cracking of the nose. You can put some coconut oil and then just help a, little, a couple of those cracks, um, as long as your dog is not allergic to coconut. Um, oh, the next one was, can I do boot waterproofing spray? No, please don't that is not what it's meant for um i mean if you have dog shoes that you're putting on your dog then yeah you can spray it on the shoes but please don't spray them on your dog's feet i'm no i'm praying for for some of those people asking questions uh last but not least the funny question of what i've gotten in the past three days of being home is I don't have any cotton balls or Q-tips. Can I please use a tampon and pull it apart? Most of you already know the answer to that question. Please don't. Uh, even though it's um, material, um, please don't. So in the meantime, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to give us a call. You can message us. I will put our phone number at the top. And then uh, when it comes to nail trims, if you do, if your dog is not going to let you, because nail trims are um, right now that number one question. So if you're able to do some emery boards, if you're able to do some sandpaper on your dog, please do that. And then uh, like I showed before, you can uh, do this special loop around your dog's neck or underneath one arm. And therefore that will hold them in place and then just open a door and close it sit down with them, sit on the floor with them. But the only thing that you wanna do, if you're gonna even attempt this, is you have to stay calm. Dogs are not gonna to respond to anyone, very, they're not gonna respond well to anyone who is upset, anyone that's anxious, anxiety, mad, angry, any type of those motions, because 
uh, they're, it's going to just be transferred from one party to the next, and the dog is going to give you more issues than none. So if you're going to do this at your door and you want to tempt the nails or you want to try this on your couch, have the dog sit with you, you know, do a couple of nails here and there with the emery board, with, with sandpaper, um, even with one of these cubes. These cubes are, you know, they're, they're cheap. You can get it from the dollar store. Just please don't go out unless you really, really have to. And... Uh, I really think that's what I have off the top of my head and tell them when to stop clipping. Are you talking about nails of stop clipping when it comes to that, Michelle? Okay. Um, so there is this dot that is either going to be brown it's either going to be pink it's going to be pale and when you clip on a dog's nails michelle if you can find a somewhat of a picture that we can uh post on the um the chat area here then we can show you what it looks like and the grid of sandpaper that is your choice page i have i have some sandpaper in my car but this is just regular nail and if it bothers them, then you can go lower and lower. Um, so with the nail, you're, you're going to see pink, you're going to see pale. And if you do see a little bit of red, you want to take some cornstarch. You can take flour. Um, uh, please don't use like, you. Can, I mean, I'm not saying Vaseline is not the greatest, but Vaseline's not going to really do anything. Vaseline's not going to stop. And that was the other thing that um, I needed to put on my website is the uh, quick stop. So there is a product out there, and it's for it's for nail clipping, and um, yeah, quick stop, and it, it is for nail clipping. So what I would say is, when you're gonna clip your dog's nails, clip it little by little, slivers here and there, and it's gonna take you a while because your dog's not gonna want to do it. It's kind of like a kid in Walmart; they're they're gonna pounce on their they're gonna stomp their feet as fast as they possibly can, and then as parents, we give in. I have the issue with my five-year-old. She is a pain in the butt for her nails, but yet when I use the Dremel, she's fine. Um, but yeah, you can use cornstarch. You can use a little bit of flour and just press it on there. Um, I want, I like half of me wants to run out to my car and show you the grit that I have, um, but that may or may not help because what I would do is I would start out, find the sandpaper that you have at home, do everything from home. Uh, find the sandpaper that you have and work it through. And what I said earlier was I actually have a cardboard box that I, of course, get packages from Amazon. And right now it's drying. I glued sandpaper on this cardboard box. And then initially, next, well, in the future, I'm going to put a treat inside of that box so that the dog is going to, you know, scratch the box. The only problem that I'm running into is it's cardboard and it's just going to bend in, so I'm just going to have to figure out where to go and how to do that from here. So, um, Michelle is right. Cornstarch is going to be a lot easier, uh, a lot safer when it comes to the nails, and if you do have to keep pressing on there, um, please don't go and, like, just slice or take a lot off the nails. It's, it's going to bleed for a while. That's why this is a very dangerous and not an easy task to do, especially when your dog is may or may not let you do so this is just one of the nail clippers that i have you can see it's a little bit bigger than the palm of my hands there are bigger nail clippers out there uh there are all sorts of types and i do have a couple of nail clippers that i recommend on my website under shop and you can pick out if you want to try it at home they're on the cheaper side i think they range between nine and twelve dollars and um in the i mean that's really off the top of my head. I'm going to put Quick Stop on my uh, website, Michelle. I'm going to put that on there. It's um, for when you have any bleeding that's on your nails. But I don't know how fast the shipping is going to be uh, for Amazon or anything. So, uh, liquid Band-Aid on dogs. Ah, uh, that was a really good question, Linda. And I got that question, oh my God, um, months ago. <sighs> It's like the baby shampoo um, question that I got was, hey, can I use baby shampoo for my dog? 
it's one of those, I, I don't think it's the right thing to do, uh, but if you're using it for the nails, it's not going to help at all. Um, but if there is an injury or a cut or anything on your dog, um, I would just use some Neosporin uh, just to help out. But again, please, please call your vet. Um, they are still there, but they're not going to be taking any clients. And just, I, I would say be safe about it because you can clip too much. I mean, I, on a daily basis, Michelle and I are clipping nails all the time. And there's times that we, we do clip them a lot. Wonder dust. I have never heard of wonder dust, Dan. Um, is it more of a powder or is it more of a, um, a thicker material? Because there is, um, there is a liquid. There's powder. I'm writing everything down so I can put it on my website. There's powder and liquid when it comes to uh, quick stops. And it's a lot easier when you put it on your dog, but you want to sit there for a few seconds and just wait for it to slowly stop bleeding. And these things are going to happen if you want to try this at home. Um, my cat wants to go outside. I know, sweetheart. You have to wait a few minutes. So, oh, the other question that I got, and I have it right here, is uh, can I use my husband's nail trimmer, uh, my, my husband's trimmers? Um, if I were you, please ask permission from him first because my husband loves when I don't ask his permission to borrow his tools. I'm a wonderful wife, but no, I do ask his permission. And no, I'm not going to use this clipper if my husband's watching. No, I'm not going to use his clipper. But I do have um, his clipper that we got off Amazon, which I'm going to put on here in case you want to try it. You can. Uh, there are guards that are going to be... Um, connected on it and they go you know short to longest if you want to try that you're you're welcome to if you want to um that pack will come i think it's a wall that's a wall package um that actually comes with scissors and nope the, the nose trimmers is um it comes with a clipper clips and it does come with scissors. Now, the thing is, if you're going to buy a pack of men's clippers, it's going to come with scissors. Dog hair is a lot different than human hair. I will put that to you because I, I have a lot of scissors. And uh, the sharpening of those scissors, they have to be super sharp because human hair is a lot different than dog hair. There you go, Linda. My mom has a little bit of powder if you need it. So, uh, what size guard if you want to try on your Pomeranians? Um, I actually, my phone is in front of me on a tripod. And I'm not sure what number we use on them. I think we use a 5. So, if we use a 5... If we use a four, then that's 10 millimeter. Now if we use a five, then that'll be six millimeter. So on these combs, if you do buy this set, and I'll, I'll bring it close to you. Um, human clips are way different than dog clips. Human blades are way different. And if there's any barbers that are watching and you do or do not know this, please, please tell me if I'm mistaken on any of these numbers. So just as an example, this here is part of my husband's kit. This is a six, and it shows you on here that it's a, a three-quarter inch and a 19 millimeter. And um, whatever your dog, I mean, you can start by going long and then go to smaller if that's what you want to prefer to do um so there is the other clippers that there it's okay <laughs> it's okay it's my mother-in-law she knows that i'll call her back so yes when it comes to human clippers there are dog clipper kits out there and to be honest with you i haven't tried them 
I really do want to try them in the future just in case anybody tries to try them in the future. That would be that would be a nice video. So it's I mean, I don't don't recommend to try to clip your dog on your own, but if you're desperate and your groomer is closed for a week, two weeks, a month, I don't I really don't know. And if you want to try it, you, I mean, that is that that that's your call. I I don't recommend it, but you know, a lot of people are going to do a lot of desperate things at desperate times. And it's not easy at this time for any of us, and especially those that are out of work or um, um, are essentials. And uh, they're allowed to be on the road as of right now with my van. I'm not allowed to be on the road and I can get fined. Um, I did speak to New Jersey Gov, um, and she looked at me and said, look, it's not it's not worth it I can seek a fine and I'm pretty sure that I think the fine is like a thousand dollars or more and it's like each and every time it would be a thousand dollars so even if I'm open even if I'm on the road even if I'm grooming um, I can get fined with this and then I think and I may be wrong about any of this so if I am wrong please recorrect me in the comments um, I'm pretty sure that I get it either a misdemeanor or I can get arrested for being open and for me to take that risk I really can't take that risk because it's I, I need to be in business when we're allowed to be in business so it's it's a very difficult time at this moment and it's not easy mentally and physically so I am getting a lot of phone calls and I do still have to call a lot of my clients for tomorrow for mobile grooming so when it comes to the shop and the mobile we will keep you guys updated you guys are welcome to comment uh, down below on here you're welcome to message us text us and also um, you you can you know email if you want to on my website under it's gonegrooming.com under shop. You can see some of the products that I have listed today of some of the things that you can or can't use, can or choose to use at home. And there is a couple of other things that I do want to add to it while we're talking about everything. And if you guys have any questions, I'm just going to hang out here for just a few more minutes. How long have we been on here for? I don't know. Half hour? Maybe? Something like that? I have no idea, but... If you guys have any questions, I'm just going to hang out here for a few minutes and, you know, I may just randomly talk or if, you know, you want to, I'm not doing a puppet show. <laughs> um, actually, no, oh good, my cat's not bothering me. Um, let's see, I want to just chat, double check to see if I forgot anything because we did go over it quite a bit. We did go over quite a bit. I put way too much sugar in there. Ingredients. I do have notes in here too. If you guys are interested on um, if you're going to blow dry your dog or even brush your dog, whether you have a Yorkie, a Morkie, a um, Maltese, or anything that, that has some fine coat. And if you want to then you can uh, give them a bath and blow dry them with a hair dryer. Again, you can use a regular comb if you want to. Just please be careful of the shampoo that you're going to be using with them because it's, it's, some dogs have sensitive skin. Some dogs have flaky skin. Some dogs can, you know, are older and they need more of a conditioning shampoo. So just be careful with that. So after you get them out of the bath, you can blow dry them if you choose to, or you can brush them out. They have a little bit of longer hair and you don't see that they're going to knot up too much, then you can brush them out a little bit. And then while you're blow drying them, just brush them out. If you're seeing that your dog is going to be wiggling and jiggling and all around, I did show you guys the maneuver um, that you can use with your pet. And that's, it may or may not help you, but you have to get into the right state of mind in order to use it. And again, I left it right up here. Um, you have to get into the right state of mind. If you're going to be anxious or nervous, they're going to... They're going to feed on that, and please don't knock over my lighting, little girl. Please don't do it. So this is the loop that I've already created from a, an original leash. And this is the handle. Of course. Of course you're going to give me issues. So this is the handle, and then you put the leash through just like so. And then this end here. Oops, I dropped it. And I'm going to do this, and it's going to tighten. And then this here. You can put right outside your door and close the door if you're desperate. 
and um, you can blow dry your dog, you can brush your dog, you can um, try to clip their nails. You can even go outside if you want to and put the leash inside their car door, uh, your car door, and you can try to take their nails and scrape it. I mean, these are just desperate. Um, every every time that we go and do this, it's um any kind of nail cutting or nail filing down it's always a different topic and it's always a different dog and it's always a different case for every single dog but you can grind them on the on the sidewalk if you want to and a lot of people are going for very long walks so the more walks that you take for your dog the more they grind them down and there is a myth out there that the more that you cut them the le the the smaller that they're going to be or the shorter they're going to be uh, it really just depends on the dog. It really does. It's, it's not really a myth. It's not really a yes or a no or it's correct or anything like that. It's really just depends. It depends all on the dog. And um, I don't know. I, I'm... Oh, the one thing that... Oh, yes. Please, please, please. If you are going to do something at home, I love this liquor, whether you use it for a D-shed. Uh, just please don't press too, too hard because you can hurt their skin um michelle and i love this brush and then like if you have hair that gets stuck in there you just take a comb and you brush right through the bristles like this and then you can grab all the hair that comes out of the bristles um this does a lot if your dog has many knots this will brush right through the knots and uh just please be careful how 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 much pressure that you put on while you brush so uh yeah i'm still gonna hang out for a few minutes and see if there's anybody else that has any questions uh, regarding any DIYs or any questions that they have for their dog. And we answered the most popular uh, questions so far and the funny ones as well, which a little ridiculous. But what are you going to do in these times? You're, you're going to ask them funny questions. Um... So if anybody uh, did read the uh, did watch the news and I'm incorrect on the uh, fines or the imprisonment, uh, please comment below if I'm incorrect on that. I'm pretty sure it's like a thousand dollar fine and you know six to eight months in in jail. Which you run a business and you really can't take that. Um, you can't. Uh, I do have written down here the other question of a Q-tip. If you're going to use a Q-tip. Please use it correctly. Use the tip of it and just go on the inside of the ear. Don't go on the inside of the ear. I'm talking about the inside outside of the ear. So if I show my ear, I'm going to just do this. Actually, Leah's sitting right here. Leah, do you want to show your ear? She's like cocking her head like crazy. It's really adorable. Let me show you one, Leah. Hey, Bubba. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, stop it. You like going on chairs. So this here is Leah. She's my five-year-old. She is a pain in the butt for her nails. Yes. So what I mean by the inside, outside of her ear, I'm talking, and I just want to make sure, I just want to give it a few seconds that I can actually see her correctly on here, and I may have to pull this down just a tiny bit. Hi, Baba. Yeah, you look girl. Yeah, thank you. So the inside, outside of her ear, which would be these little crevices that are, oh, you got some dirty ears. So it's the little inside portions in here. Please don't stick it down in their ear. So with the Zymox, if I see that there's an infection or an irritation, I do put a couple of drops on a daily basis. Um, you know, and I, I actually see clear up. I, I actually see it like clear up in like a day or two, so it's wonderful. And then, oh, she sees the ear cleaner and it's like, no, I'm leaving. Um, she's got, actually, let me show. You have black nails? Oh, she does have black nails. She is a pain in the butt for nails. So, I'm not going to show you guys close up, but see how this one nail is like clear white and then this nail is black? It's always a doozy and difficult for everybody to clip those nails and she she hates her nails clipped and if there's groomers that are watching they're probably like oh I can tell the signs of her face see how she just overly licks herself see how she does that watch her tongue oh that's because I'm, I'm scratching the bottom of your feet see how she keeps licking 
her chops like that. Okay, go ahead, Bella. Thank you. She keeps licking her chops like that because it's it's either an insecurity or it's I don't wanna or it, it's more of a self-soothing for dogs to um, lick their chops like that. It's just normal, but she does not like her, her nails done, her ears done. Hey, it, it happens. And she's gonna probably growl or bark at me in a second because she wants to P-L-A-Y with a rope and now I see the problem with quarantine. And you guys really have nothing to do with your spare time but to sit on the couch, lick your paws and your ears and uh, bark at random things outside of the window. So, hi everyone that joined. We went over some DIYs and some tips and tricks. You can visit my website if you wanna see any products to use in the meantime. And um, hi, Cheryl. I'm so glad you got them squeezed in right before we had to close. And I have their picture on our uh, Facebook or our Instagram. I forget which one. I think it's both. I think. I think it's on there both. Am I the only weird one? Like, I don't like hot tea. I like, I, I don't even like hot coffee. I like, you know, cold or chilled, but like, I don't. When it comes to tea, it's got to, like, sit there for a while. Um, let me think. Michelle, is there anything that you can think of? Like, I really want, like, background music right now. No, nothing like, you know, ambience. Uh, they did a great job, Cheryl. We got a little bit of undercoat off of them, but uh, when it when it came to their full groom, I don't think that they're quite ready yet. And that's another thing that um, even Michelle brought up the other day is there are some dogs that are coming in that not too much shedding is coming off. And what I mean by the shedding is like shepherds and, um, you know, shelties. Like Cheryl has two shelties at home. And I think one of them really shedded and the other one didn't and I think it's also because one of them's younger so if you do have a younger dog it usually depends on the breed so you're looking at like a year to a year and a half of when their coat gets fully mature and that is like Shelties and Samoids and, and Shepherds um, I have a Shepherd that I groom in uh, LBI her name is Gritana and uh, she just she just got done we we did her grooming like I think three weeks ago we did her grooming and she had like surgery in her leg and um, her mom bought the undercoat rake which is which is this and she does it on you know a daily basis and I had to tell her you know just calm it down a little bit if you want to do it on a weekly basis that's different but a lot of times during this season you're not gonna see the dogs uh, shed out their fur as much as they would in what August September it really depends on the season and then that one year I think it was like 2017 or 18 I think it was it was either 2017 or 18 it was like December and it's like 65 degrees outside and I had like a wonderful birthday because it was so nice outside and the dogs coats were not even ready to uh, de shed because um, their, I think it's like their bodies were confused and it, their hair was just like, wait a minute, this is not normal. But sometimes when it comes to having an undercoated, um, a de-shedding dog, that's just one of the things. I, I think that their fur goes against the uh, goes with the seasons that, that happens. So those type of dogs, they usually shed twice a year, um, but they shed all year long. Even when we have them come in and do the grooming, and then as they're leaving, the hair is still flying off. And it's like, we're we're not winning. Because we get them in the tub, we do the de-shedding thing, which, oh, by the way, Envirogrim came in, Michelle. Yay! Right when we can't groom, it comes in. And we get them in the tub, they soak in, in the solution. Not all de-sheds work for dogs. Some of them, some groomers may say, no, de-shed solution does not work at all. Uh, some groomers will say, yeah, it definitely works, or they have a specific one, and it's really, you know, your preference as a groomer whether you want to do it, or if you want to do it at home, have at it, but uh, some of the solutions you have to keep on them for a good, I don't know, three, four, five minutes, depending on the dog. Like, if I, if I have a little Sheltie, then they sit in the tub for 
uh, five, six, seven minutes. But if I have this big Newfoundland or or um, uh, Nero that we just did a video for, Nero was huge, but he didn't shed that much. And sometimes he'll sit in a tub for a good 10, 15 minutes soaking in the solution. And I mean, it's, it really just depends on the dog that we have coming in. So sometimes we blow dry them in the tub and sometimes we blow dry them on the table. A lot of times we blow dry them in the tub so that the hair and the grime and the, and the extra gunk, they all come out in the tub so that we, it's easier for us to clean. And oh my God, yes, Michelle, I want to go back to work too. I like, there's so much of a part of me that wants to get right in my grooming van right now, but uh, unfortunately with mobile grooming in my shop, we're not allowed to do that. So we're just gonna, we're gonna hang on, but right now we're just really, really stuck and I don't know what to do. Well, no, I do know what to do because there's so much for me to do. I spent the first three days working on my website, working on uh, a lot of YouTube videos, and there's a lot of DIYs and everything, which I've showed you guys today. I showed you guys tons of little things that you can do with your dog, and that's just as, as simple as hooking them up and not, because we're groomers, so we have a damn table, and we have a noose that we can, I don't, I really don't want to call it a noose. I want to call it a lanyard, and we have the strap that goes on them, and not a lot of people have that. And, you know, we have to improvise. And I'm going to try different things. And I have tons of ideas written in my computer of how many different DIYs that I can think of. And your questions as well is going to help with that. Um, I do have a lady on YouTube that did ask me about her Yorkie. And I just want to go to that really, really quickly. What was the question that she asked? Can you recommend tools for quarantine people with Yorkie poos? I'm going to get a tool to file the nails. And that's from a girl named Nicole. Um, and like I, I mentioned it before, there is a tool that's going to help with the nails. And, um, you know, I will leave the, the, the link is above where there's different things that you can use. But you also, you know, these things... Definitely work if you have sandpaper at home. Please don't go out if you don't need to. It's it's not really that safe. And I, I do see a lot of people that are in the stores and they just really don't care. But the, the quicker that we do this, the quicker it's over. And I think one of my friends um, recently posted, like, you know, I feel like a kid in school where um, I'm getting punished because the rest of the class is, is not doing what they're supposed to do. And it's yeah it's kind of like that but the other um i just got a message from a lady uh which i won't name her name um she she asked me a question of getting her dog groomed and she did notice that we were open uh friday and saturday and we were uh we have a, we had a note on our door that said you know just park and give us a call and we'll come out and get your dog well apparently that's not good enough because once you hand the dog over to somebody you're looking at a leash that is only a foot of distance that you have from your hand to the next person so they said no to that because it's a social distancing uh problem so we're gonna i mean if we're allowed to do it i mean i even had an idea in my head to grab like my niece's little tunnel like it was just like you're quarantined and you have nothing else to think of but ways of like hey can i how can i make this work how can i groom and I, like i'm envisioning my niece's tunnel and just setting it up in the parking lot and just saying okay put the dogs in there and just go, go, go. But like, you can't really do that. <laughs> um, but that'll, that'll, that, that would be really funny if, if we would be able to do that. I think there was another video I saw online of someone that was doing hairdressing and they were like sitting outside of their house and they had like that mailbox slot that you can open and close the door. And then they have their hair in there and they're blow drying and you know, they're brushing their hair. And I wish that I mean, dog grooming, we're not with clients that often, and we can do payments on the phone, and we, you know, we can just grab the dog real quick, but the the problem that they have with the dog grooming is 80% of my clients are, um, uh, they're seniors, they're retired, they're baby boomers, and that's what the virus is, contra is 
you know, really affecting is those generations a lot quicker than us. And I really, really wish that we can. And it's just, if I do, I'm going to get in trouble. And is that worth the trouble just to make X amount of money? And as groomers, we, I mean, I pay myself commission. Even though I'm a business owner, I pay myself commission. But there's sometimes I can't pay myself. And I have to pay my girls, and I have to put it on the bills, and I have to put it towards the shop. Or it's very difficult as a business owner to have a grooming business, and the and also to have a mobile grooming. That overhead, holy crap! That right there is that's difficult because the overhead is more expensive than a damn shop. And if you have more employees, then it's probably going to be the same when it equals out. So. Um, I did have another question from a lady that um, she wanted to know what system that we use for payments. Uh, you can do if we're if you're gonna buy anything uh, in the future, or we can do dog grooming in the future. Then we we can do PayPal. So when you go to PayPal, and that's a really good question, and thank you for asking. Um, so it would be PayPal, and then you would put gongrooming.com and gmail.com. And, of course, I'm going to put all of this information at the top there because, oh, that reminds me, I do have to call the guy with um, uh, payment from Saturday. But, yeah, we were, it, it was a little difficult. So we can take payment over the phone. We do use a Clover system. And the Clover system, you, I mean, you can use Square. You can use Clover. Uh, Square we were using for, I think it was like six or eight months, and... Uh, with Square, they were not negotiating anything uh, when it came to APR and uh, the interest rates or anything like, I'm, I'm sorry, not APR, but the, the interest rates that um, you would get payment from a person. So, for instance, if somebody owes me $10 or $50, they, they would take out, you know, a certain percentage. And I think it was like 3.5 or something like that. And it was, it was really up there. And then if they, if you typed it in, it was like 4.25%. And then because my company makes X amount of money, uh, Clover would take me and they say, okay, well, we're going to make uh, X amount of money per month and you have to meet that minimum. And if you meet more, then they're just going to lower your percentage. But Square did not want to negotiate when it came to percentages. They just say, nope, this is our flat rate. This is it. This is what it is. And then with Clover, it's a lot more easier. All I have to do is pay for the uh, system that sits on my desk, and then you can get um, you can get points as you go. So every time you come in for grooming, which I'm in the process of making that video, but that video is going to have to wait because this is more important to get you guys out there. And if you guys have any questions and you're just joining us, please feel free to comment down below. If you have a question, whether it may be stupid or not, Ask me a question if you think the question's stupid and you want to message me personally or you want to message Gone Grooming. You can do that as well. So you can call us. You can text us. All the information that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be sharing this video on my website as soon as I figure out how to do it. And I'm going to be sharing this video in the future. And you guys are still welcome to comment down below of any questions that you have in the future if you guys bump into a roadblock and you don't know what to do. So I guess... What do you think, Michelle? Let's let's cut it off, and then if we have any issues, we can go. We've been on for an hour. Wow. Wow. An hour. I don't... I'm contemplating if I want a glass of wine today. So, yes, you guys are welcome. We've already gone through a lot of DIYs, and I think I'm going to cut it off. Uh, emery board. Yeah, you can use an emery board. That's fine. Um, you can use an emery board. You can use sandpaper. Now, um, what I'm, what I said before is I was gluing it to a cardboard box. Um, now you can also glue like sandpaper to like a piece of wood and then take a treat and then have your dog like go and try to paw the wood to, you know, try to grind down their nails a little bit. So yes, I do also have on the website that uh, it's Michelle, myself, and also Gone Grooming. I do have our Facebook um, names and links on my website. And also on here, I'm going to uh, include Michelle's uh, Facebook as well. So if you have any questions for one of us and we haven't gotten to you, just hold on because we're going to 
We're going to answer everyone's questions. I've been on the phone like crazy for the past three days. So, um, I think that's it, Michelle. What do you think? Call it? <laughs> We're done. We've had it. Can we go back to grooming now? Let's go back to grooming. <laughs> I really miss grooming. I really, really do. And I, I have uh, my high end chair that I brought home. And even my husband's like, I need a haircut. I need a haircut. That was four days ago. And I have all the blades, but yeah. Oh, uh, whatchamacallit? Somebody told me that they missed a racing stripe, and I forget who it was. It was somebody that was uh, on a schedule for Tuesday. I forget who it is. I'll send you a picture later. But they were like, I missed my racing stripe. And those of you that are watching and don't know what a racing stripe is, it's something that we call and we shave from the butt down below going into the sanitary and it's what we call a racing stripe so that it's you know nice and clear but some groomers do it some groomers don't some people like it some people don't some people just like that little clearance around the butt and oh the anal glands that was another question that i had anal glands please do not attempt anal glands at home neither one of groomers like anal glands as well as vets love to do anal glands i don't recommend that groomers do anal glands uh groomers do it on an outside we do it externally, um, vets do it internally, and it's gross. Please don't attempt it because you can really injure your dog. So I feel like I'm talking in circles. Uh, yes, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Uh, don't get pumpkin pie mix. Get pumpkin from the store. Make sure it's organic, whether you get it from Aldi's or ShopRite. Please don't go out if you don't need to. So uh, get organic pumpkin and you can feed it to your dog if you have any questions so that you feel free to give us a call or a message or you can even call your vet and say hey how much pumpkin can i get my dog pumpkin is kind of like a metamucil for us humans but pumpkin works well for dogs with uh any anal problems or any intestinal problems that they have so pumpkin yes oh uh feeding wise if you guys are low on food there are pet supply stores that are open the reason why we're not allowed to be open is because we do not sell pet supply food Food is the main thing that they're looking at. So we don't sell any food or anything, so we're not allowed to be open. We are brick and mortar. And um, you can do brown rice. You can do sweet potato. You can do vegetables. You can do chicken. If you're going to do chicken, please make sure that you don't give, like, more than a palmful of chicken per day because it's way too much protein for them. So if you're going to give up, if you're going to give that much chicken, you might want to split it. In fours, make your own little pre, pre-made containers and do some vegetables, sweet potato, brown rice. Just make sure your dog's not allergic to it. And um, ask again, ask your vet if there's anything that you need to add or need to subtract or you can't do. So, yeah, we've been on here for an hour, and I think we're good to go. So if you guys have any questions in the meantime, feel free to give us a, give us a call, message us, text us. You can write us on Facebook. Michelle is on here, too. So my name is Cassie. Michelle is on here. I own Gone Grooming, and if you guys have any questions, feel free. Please, everyone, be safe. Be, uh, do the best that you can during this time. And um, that's really okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you soon.